Hello, my people. I am finally here. I am on YouTube. So many people that I know have like been, will you please just make a channel? Will you please just talk about all of the things that you use? You know, people have known me for so many years and I mention it, but never really go into detail. So this is a great opportunity for me to really talk about stuff. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Bonnie Allen, and I just love fashion, I love beauty, I love all things about being a girl and making yourself feel pretty, and that's because we are, we're all beautiful and unique in our own way. What could be the best introductory video than to talk about the one basic thing that is super important? I mean, I could do a makeup tutorial and that will happen in the future, but the basis of all things great when it comes to your makeup is a great skincare routine because your face is your canvas and you wanna take great care of it. For all of you girls who are like teenagers, you're in your 20s, even into your 30s, when you get to be my age, if you'll be consistent and you'll take really good care of your skin, you know, do the best that you can with what you have. And having said that, I didn't have a lot of knowledge in the very beginning to know how to really take care of my skin. But through the last, I wanna say about 10 years, I've learned some things. Now, just like all of you, I have certain issues that I deal with with my skin. I've had dark circles since I was in middle school. In fact, in middle school is when I started wearing concealer to cover it up. As I got older, because into my early 20s, I didn't really use sunscreen as a teenager, or, and then I started going to the tanning beds, it, it really affected my skin. Over time, I started noticing dark spots start to come to the surface gradually. And that's something that I'm also looking into, and we'll do a future video on that. But today, I really wanna talk about the skincare routine that I have, and particularly my nighttime skincare routine. I use a lot of different products. I have used one particular brand for 10 years, and so in just a second, when I take all of this off, which took a lot of time, we're gonna get down to the nuts and bolts of what I use and what I feel like really has made a difference in helping push back aging and the fine lines and wrinkles and having textured skin and stuff like that. I don't deal with those kind of things. Mine is just the discoloration. So we're gonna get straight to it. So without further ado, let's get real, people. Okay, before I wash my face, I'm actually gonna show you the products I'm gonna wash my face with before I come back on camera because I don't have any water here, obviously, to wash my face. So, the first product I wanna show you, this is by Skin Cosmetics. This is the name brand that I've used for 10 years and I just, I can't get enough of it. I have to use it. It's the one thing that I found that really works and so I use pretty much most every bit of their products. And then I'll add other things from different companies to it. And I'll show you those in just a minute. But this first one particularly is the Olive and Enzyme Cleanser. This is a nighttime cleanser. The enzymes in this, and it's all made from natural products, or natural ingredients, I mean. The enzymes help break down the makeup. The olive oil that's in it actually helps to keep your skin hydrated and all the other natural products helps keep your skin from getting stripped of its natural oils. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but the older that we get, even when you're younger, if you wash your face with soap or something harsh because of the chemicals and the different things that are in it, it can actually strip the oils out of your skin and your skin feels really dry and tight after you wash it. Well, let's just say this way. When you get older, it doesn't get any better. So you definitely don't want to use something that's going to strip the oils out of your skin. You want something that's gonna help maintain balance. And this is definitely the product to do that with. So I wash my face with this first. This is the cleanser, the olive and enzyme cleanser. Then after that, I exfoliate every single day. In fact, I use two exfoliants, one in the morning and one at night. And some people say, well, maybe that's extreme, but for me, it works. If you have sensitive skin, well, then I would kind of play it by ear and maybe just see how that goes because your skin might turn really red or get irritated. But for me, it doesn't irritate my skin. At nighttime, what I use is Dr. Brandt's Pore Dermabrasion. This is like a very refined uh, exfoliator. So in other words, like the granules that are in it aren't really big and it's not like you're having dirt rubbed on your face. 
um, they're very refined and it has some type of chemical in it that is almost like an acid peel type deal. So what you're doing is you feel this tingling sensation and then you feel like the very small refined granules that are in it and it helps exfoliate really great. Um, the pores and everything look so minimized after you use this and it and your skin is ready and it's fresh to put all the serums and moisturizers on it that you put on at night. So I would highly recommend this one. I use this one at night and then I use Skin Cosmetics Derma Peel, which I'll talk about in another video. I use that every morning before I put on my moisturizers and products. So those are the two I'm gonna use right now. When I come back on camera, I will be clean face and we can get started with the rest of them. Okay, this is where it gets real. This is the real me right here. As you can see, like I talked about earlier in the video, I have dark circles around the eyes here and I have discoloration. This one has been here for many years. I have a little bit between my eyes and on my cheeks here and there. Sometimes it almost looks like I have like breakout scars, but it's not breakout scars. It's just dark spots, like I said, from you know sun exposure or UV exposure. So let's get to it, people. All right. The first product that I put on my face is because I still, even at my age, I still get breakouts sometimes, is Proactive. And so I'm now using the Proactive MD, which is the newer version. I have the older version as well. But I just take this while my skin is already exfoliated, it's already cleansed, and I take it and I just put it on spots that I see where I may have some or where I'm usually prone, which is usually right around here, from my nose to my mouth, right in this area. I notice it. If you, just a, just a note, if you get a lot of breakouts on your jawline, my doctor told me that it has a lot to do with hormone imbalance. In other words, when your testosterone and your estrogen levels are kind of off and they're not balanced between each other. Too much testosterone can cause someone to have those big, ugly, like hard knots underneath your skin that's basically like a pimple, you know, but it feels like worse than a regular pimple. So if you get a lot of stuff along the jawline here, then it probably has to do with hormonal stuff. And I think you should probably go get it checked. I'm saying this based on experience. Okay, so. I've got the proactive on there. The next step is I use my Neck Amore Serum. This one is by Skin Cosmetics. Like I said, most of the products that I'm gonna be showing you are actually by them. This is a neck serum. Whatever you do to the face, you wanna do to the neck, you wanna do to the decollete area. So I do about two pumps of this, two pumps. So it looks like that. And I start right here in the front, put a little on the sides. It'd be better to get my bathrobe out of the way here, but let's get this straight, okay? So we're not only going to go up the front in the decollete area here, but also carry it to the back. And you don't want to pull down. Gravity's already working against us, ladies. We really need to work it up. The, on your neck and your face, you're going to do it in upward motions. And this, is, this uh, serum helps to lift. It helps with crepiness on the neck. This is lifting and firming treatment for the neck. So this is going to go with some other products that they make for the neck, but this is the very first one that you put on there. And by the way, I did take my exfoliator earlier when I washed my face. I also exfoliated very gently in an upward motion on my neck to help get rid of dead skin because that can also contribute to creases and lines on your neck too. And okay, so the next one is, now that we did the serum for the neck, we did the Neck Amour, that's what it's called. We're gonna do what Skin Cosmetics is called Collagenesis, this is Age Reset Serum. This is a good one. This is a really good one. This has like major skin technology in it, nano. <laughs> With a bunch of letters 
and numbers and stuff. If I was a scientist or a chemist, it would make sense, but because I'm not, it doesn't. I literally put all of this all over my face, even under my eyes, even though I have my own eye serum, I just work it all in. You wanna work it around your mouth because as we get older, we can get lines. I don't know if you ladies have noticed, you can get those vertical lines around the lips. Nobody wants that. So we're gonna work it in really, really good until it feels like it's absorbed and it's not super wet anymore. Okay, so we've got the neck serum we've done and we've got the face serum that we've done. Now we they have an eye serum as well. This is the Age Reset Eye Serum. But just because I like to put double, what's wrong with putting double the hydration under your eyes? Because FYI, fact, the skin around the eye does not produce oil like the skin on the rest of your face. So that's why sometimes you can notice around your eye it may feel drier than the other parts of your face, but that's because it doesn't naturally produce the oils that the other skin does. So we're just gonna kind of work that in gently. Mainly pat, don't pull as much as, if you can avoid pulling, avoid pulling. Don't want, you don't wanna pull. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch out the skin underneath your eye. You don't want to do that. You want it to stay taut and firm. You don't wanna pull and tug. Again, another trick that I've learned from bad past experiences. So we're gonna dab, 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 and dab it all in under the eye and around on top of the eye until it all absorbs and it doesn't feel really wet anymore. There we go. Looking good, it's soaking in. Okay, the next step is going to be, let me put this up. The next step is going to be moisturizer, all right? This is where it gets a little bit different. I have added an extra moisturizer to my routine. Normally, I do use the Skin Cosmetics um, Daily Moisturizer. They have a night one that I'm going to also use, but I added Tatcha. This is the Dewy Skin Cream, and this stuff with the other products that I'm using is like heavenly. Your, my skin feels so moist with all of the different things together. By the time I'm finished, this is actually added and helped in my routine. It just has complemented all the products that I already use. So I'm just gonna dab a little on my forehead. And again, I do it under the eyes. And you wanna rub up as much as possible. You don't wanna rub down. Like I said, gravity's already working against you. So let's not help it any more than we have to, all right? So, and then dab underneath the eye. And of course, you know, you're gonna have to give yourself a little bit of time to let these products actually absorb. I'm kind of doing it like in fast forward here, but normally I just kind of give it a minute. I'll drink some water, I'll read a few things, or I'll listen to a book, and I let it soak in. Again, work it in around the mouth. We want to keep all of that really nice and moist and keep lifting. Keep working it up and then just dab around the eyes. What you do to the face, you want to do the neck, we take about a dime size right here. This stuff spreads very easily. We want to work it in an upward motion on the front of the neck, the sides, and even the back. Most people forget about the back of the neck. And I don't know if you notice, but you can get lines and you can get dry, leathery looking skin back there. And of course, I'm going to add a little here to the decollete as well. But you want to moisturize all that skin. Actually, you want to get a good body moisturizer. And I have an idea for that too. So that's going to be that one. While that's soaking in on the face, we have an eye cream. I told you, I got a lot of cool products here to use. At nighttime, I really pack on the moisture after I've exfoliated. I really, that's the time that your skin repairs itself. So if you're gonna take extra, extra time, it definitely should be at nighttime, really pampering your skin from the head to toe, really. You wanna put great um, lotion or body butter or something on your skin, on your body as well. 
because that's when the body is repairing itself. If you didn't know that, now you do now. Okay, so I'm starting on the outer part here and working my way in and then taking what I have on my finger and kind of just working it in to the eyelid. But you want to you want to carry it all the way to the hairline because what tends to happen is we get to a certain point and we kind of stop. This is a way to help prevent crow's feet and those creasing and lines from smiling, making expressions and things like that. So now we're gonna take this one, we're gonna start on the outer edge of the eye. Just kind of dab, work it in, go to the inside here. So it's all moisturized. And then the eyelid as well. It feels really good right now. It feels so nice and soft and hydrated. It's a good feeling. You want that. So, and you're gonna spend a lot of extra time on the eyes. The reason I use so many products on the eyes is because the eyes are the first thing on your face that if you don't take care of them, it can age you. And you don't want that. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna use while that's soaking in, because we have one more eye product that we're going to put on there is the Skin Neck Amore Daily Probiotic Neck Cream. This is actually a neck mask. A neck mask. This is a neck cream and we have a neck mask. We have a neck cream and a neck mask. So, we're gonna work that in as well. This stuff is thick. I'd say if you wanna go overboard with this one, you definitely can. This is an awesome one. Your neck, decollete area feels very hydrated. We're blending it in, working it in. All right. It feels really good. And this cream is like really nice and thick. That's the way I like it. Okay. We have, let me see, three products left. I know, it's... It's a lot of products, but that's okay. The Skin Cosmetics Collagenesis, this is Creme de Vive. This is the Nightly Renewal Moisturizer. Now, I know I put on the Tatcha one. That one is to give extra hydration. This one gives hydration, but it also gently exfoliates while you're sleeping. This is a great repairing night cream. So this will be like the last cream that I put on my face, and I get like a dime size right here. Spread that out, set it on their forehead. I do pretty much everything that I do to my face. I do right up under my eyes too. Like I said, I wanna keep it super hydrated. And blend it all in. And what you do to the face, you do to the neck. If you want to, you can do the neck cream after this one. Uh, it's just whatever I remember to do at the time. Sometimes I do this one first and then the neck cream. But like I said, and what you want to do is you want to take it and take it and rub it on the edges of your ears right here. Because what happens is sometimes we neglect our ears and they look really dry when you're wearing a ponytail or a braid or whatever and your ears are exposed or maybe you have short hair you don't want to have like dry looking ears do you okay this is my last eye product and this is also by skin cosmetics this is a night eye balm you know how you have lip balms this is the eye balm So I'm gonna take just a small size, if you can see it there, it, a little dab will do you. I always set it right on the edge of the eye and then work it in. So we're gonna work it in. This is literally like if you're taking like Carmex and putting it around the eye. And what you wanna do is you mainly wanna put it on the outside here. Why? Because this muscle 
contracts when you're smiling when you're making expressions and what it can tend to do is if it doesn't have enough hydration and moisture which this product has omega-3s in it which omega-3s are amazing for your skin cells they help plump and hydrate them up and give them the volume that they need and so what you want to do is you want to just kind of work that in to where the muscle bends when you make expression around the eye right here and so we're gonna go here on this side I have used this product it's evolved they used to call it something else reorganized eye balm is what it used to be called now it's Venoir Venoir I don't speak French that might be something on my list bucket list there but Venoir is the eye balm by skin cosmetics and it's on the collagenesis line that they make so that's great that one really like it, it it looks greasy it looks greasy under your eyes but that's because you're going to bed you know it is there to to give extra hydration and to kind of undo what's been done during the day because you have concealer you have powder you have makeup all up around your eye eyeshadow everything and a lot of them have drying agents and so what you definitely want to do is you're wanting to go back and put back all the moisture and the hydration that you've lost during the day okay I just realized that there is one product that I forgot to highlight at the beginning and that is the Dermapil lip scrub so typically I do do a lip scrub and then I'll show you what I put on my lips but Tatcha has this luminous dewy skin mist this is great it just basically like sets in the moisture it's like the last thing that you want to put on top I use it in the morning too right before I'm getting ready to put on my foundation it's the last step to kind of seal in all the other steps that I do so I'm just gonna spray a few pumps nice mist on my face and that's gonna absorb and set in and it just kind of sets and locks in the hydration and the moisture in your skin like I said I use the Dermapeel lip scrub and after I use the lip scrub this is gonna seem crazy but the only thing that ever really works on my lips in the winter time that helps keep it hydrated and whenever I put it on my lips always tingle is Carmex I know it seems crazy but Carmex is a medicated lip balm I've tried Blistex I've tried Burt's Bees and a few others I just can't remember the name at the moment but to be honest with you old faithful I've been using Carmex for many many moons since I was a teenager I put that on after I do my lip scrub which I did that earlier so you put that on everything is set at this point what I'll basically do is then I take my body butter or my body cream and I just kind of slather myself with the whole thing in fact I'm gonna go ahead and show you skin cosmetics the collagenesis line makes a creme reverse body butter it has a lot of the same anti-aging agents in this cream that are in the moisturizers and the products that you put on your face and you know I'm gonna tell you right now what you don't want to do is you don't want to skip your hands super important so I take this I first start with my hands and really work it in because the skin on the hands is really thin just like the skin under the eye is thin and I just really work that cream into my hands I put a thick layer of it on there because there's certain things that are a tale of what your age is your eye whether or not your eye looks like dry or has lines your neck you want it to be moisturized so that it doesn't get crepey it doesn't droop and it doesn't have a, a lot of lines on it because as you age you can you know get those creases and then you definitely want to keep your hands hydrated and moisturized because that's super important too because they can definitely be a telling agent of that Am I saying that, you know, 
if you do all of these things, you're never going to look a day older. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I can tell you what, you can really push back the hands of time if you do do these things consistently. So that's my nightly skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you. Look up SkinCosmetics.com for more information on the products that I use. If you want to use any of the Tatcha products that I use or Dr. Brandt, those can be found at Sephora. You can order those online. Like this video if this you feel like this really helped you. And subscribe to my channel so that you can see further videos that we have coming up. I have a lot more information that I want to give you about a lot more different products that are really great and I feel could be a major help to you. So, have a good one. Remember, beauty can be at any age.